Well, Jack, we're back after we've had a massive butchery session going on. So this is what I'm left with. This is the part in question now. So that's the aftermath of the mess on the floor there. That's the centre bit knocked out. Yeah, I've killed my plasma cutter. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing with it. The tip is not supposed to look like that with a great big gaping hole in the middle of it. Yeah, I've destroyed the tip on that and I managed to break the ceramic surround. I'm not sure what went. Anyway, that's another story. That's done with. Plasma cutting career finished. So, with the plasma cutter, I managed to cut the hole out. Yeah, it looks a bodge, but it's not going to serve any purpose other than a hole. So, that is its purpose. Be a hole in life now. Then, I used a jigsaw, which with little success. I tried with the jigsaw. I started cutting, but it wasn't getting very far. But what I did use in the end was a drill with a sharp drill bit. And it just cut... I was drilling holes and like just seesawing action with the drill and it actually works really well with the drill. I was quite impressed with that. It just, it's just being aluminium, I suppose, cast aluminium. It's uh, Let's have a look at the edge. I mean, I've gone over it with the grinder just to take the edge down. It's quite thick there, isn't it? So yeah, the drill, I used the drill, spent a bit of time on that. It, I've just basically cut through the plate now. That's it. That's all I need. That's the plate I need now. So let's just pop this on the in front of the motor. Okay, so what will happen, I will use the motor fixing bolts and I'll reattach the what would have been the gearbox housing back to the motor. That will get bolted back on there now with some big sturdy bolts. Then my coupler will go on there now. Right, what I did with these tapes was I drew a straight line down from the gearbox side. Off the fate mating face plate, that's one. I know it's only approximate guide, and then I did the same with the leaf side, that's two. So theoretically, this should be my uh, adapter plate thickness. I did cut that down, but which, which I regret a bit now because I've cut it down too much. So what I might do, because it acted like a nice stop, that did. I think that's gone on too far now. That has. It's gone on further than I'd like it to. I think I'd like it to be out there a bit, maybe. But what I might do, I might get the welder and put some tacks of weld on there and just build the nose of that back out again, just to give me my thickness. What I was aiming for was a 20mm plate. So the next step, as the gearbox is going to be the biggest part, I'm going to measure the gearbox face, up and down, left and right, and go ahead and order some aluminium plate. Start preparing the plate. So what, like I said, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mount the plate to this, which won't be crucial then. What will be crucial will be the mounting of the gearbox to that plate. Drill a hole in the middle of the plate. And then somehow size up the... I've got the other half of the leaf gearbox, which I can use the holes for like locating holes. But I'm still going to need to make these plates up anyway. So even if this doesn't work, this coupler, and I need to get another one made. Obviously, that's still going to stand whatever's uh, left there. So that's the progress so far now. Yeah, with the plate, it's going to they're going to they're a lot smaller the bolts, but there's quite a few of them. I might try and keep the locating dowel there. Try and mount it on the plate. I mean, it's going to be more shearing force rather than hanging force because it will be they will be both mounted in the car engine bay anyway. Obviously, there's going to be a hole on the side of this, but it shouldn't be an issue. And obviously, the bolts are going to be three quarters of the way round on this now. But there's enough of them, so it shouldn't be going anywhere. If any of the bolts interfere with the face of the BMW gearbox, I might just get some countersunk bolts. And then countersunk the, the bolts, the ones that are affecting the plate, I might just get some countersunk countersunk head bolts and just countersunk them into the aluminium plate just to make them flush and then that will sit flat on there then so that's the progress so far guys so we're getting there slowly hopefully in the next video i will have the plate and we'll start to fab up the plate fab up the plate and start locking things together so let's see what happens see you in the next one thanks jack